Hello everyone, it's Hannah and Richard from Wild and Growing. Hey everyone, uh, so today's St. Patrick's Day, so it's mid-March and um, it's pretty cold. Actually, we got a bit of a late winter, early spring snow last night. That doesn't mean that we aren't gonna go outside, um, but usually if it's pretty foggy, pretty cloudy, if it's wet out, um, I'm not gonna try and climb a mountain. I'm not gonna try and do a hike that's super exposed or rocky, something with, um, you know, kind of dangerous footing where I might slip or fall or something where it's gonna be a lot of effort and I might not get that view at the end. Um, but there are some things, some areas that I really actually um, think are really spectacular when it's on a foggy day like this. Um, forests are amazing, mm -hmm. um, bodies of water, so lakes, rivers, waterfalls, all that kind of stuff. Um, so we have a uh, hike picked out um, and I thought I might walk you through the process that we use to figure it out. Okay. All right, so um, I have right here one of my favorite websites. Uh, it's an amazing resource. It's alltrails.com. Um, it's a massive database with tons of information, write-ups, all of the stats, everything like that on just so many trails all over the world. I use it all the time. Um, so right now we're in Winstead, Connecticut. So I type in Winstead, Connecticut. It's gonna search for hiking trails near there. Um, best trails near Winstead. So I'm gonna click on this map right here. Um, and then I have this map with all of these little areas, their numbers. Each one's a little write-up of a different hiking trail in the area. Um, now, this one we hiked yesterday, it was really beautiful, the Jesse Girard Trail, um, but very rocky. And since we just did it yesterday, Falls Cutoff was in the same park. Um, this one right here though, Burr Pond, um, it says it's an easy trail. I click on it, it shows the map. It's a loop around a lake. Now Burr Pond is a state park in Connecticut. Um, so right there, that tells me that it's probably a pretty interesting spot to visit. You know, they wouldn't go out of their way, put in the effort to protect the land if it wasn't pretty awesome. Um, so I think this is a good one. Um, and uh, we're going to join do that one. It says it's two and a half miles, 118 feet of elevation gain. It's a loop hike, so it should be pretty not too difficult. Good one to do on a wet, rainy day. Um, another website that I like to check out is this one, um, NewEnglandWaterfalls.com. Um, so this is a spectacular resource. Um, this one really changed the way that I thought about the natural beauty in my home state of Connecticut, um, which, you know, in its own way kind of changed my life. Um, so it's got all of these different lists with write-ups. Um, they also have a book which you can buy, um, which I recommend. All right, uh, so we're at Burr Pond State Park. Uh, nice view of the pond right there. Um, interesting fact about this location, this is actually the site of the factory where they first invented and created condensed milk. Uh, so, eight, yeah, 1857, um, those little tin cans of condensed milk were invented and created here. Uh, the mill burned down in 1877 though. Um, but the uh, pond right here looks really pretty. Um, the hike we're going to do is a nice loop around it. So uh, follow us. Come check it out. Yeah. So right here we found um, what looks like part of a catfish head. Um, not sure if it was caught by a human or by another animal. Um, Definitely been munched on. Yep.
Right now we're up at the northwestern corner of the lake. And as we we're just kind of going around the bend, I noticed right down here we have this little stump. Um, so you can see this uh, tree right here, this shrub. Actually, yeah, it looks like it's a birch tree. You can tell by the bark. Um, so this right here, if you're wondering why that was just chopped down, this one random one at this spot next to the water, uh, it's because people didn't do it. This is actually um, evidence of beaver. So beavers, um, aqua semi-aquatic rodents, um, they like to build their homes in ponds. Um, they famously will build dams and streams to create ponds if a pond doesn't already exist. But luckily for these beavers, um, this one's already here. Um, so it took away some of that work for them. Um, but if you look up closely, you can see lots of tooth marks right here um, along the edge. And then you can see the um, you know, trunk that came off right there. I'm not sure how long this one was here. I imagine it was quite a while because all of this uh, mountain laurel has grown in over it right there. Um, but, you know, definitely looks like we've got some beavers around. walk around this beautiful lake. Uh, we're currently on the Peninsula Trail um, and we just wanted to take time to say that this hike was amazing. It's really great for bird watching. Lots of ducks out here right now. Um, it's a great meditative nature walk if you wanted to escape reality for a little bit or just a hike or a trail run. We really enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, um, it's about two and a half miles. There's a little bit of elevation, a little bit of climbing. Um, nothing super serious yeah. though. Um, lots of amazing, um, like rocks around, um, yeah. you know, the, uh, really interesting, um, geological history of Connecticut is, um, just visible all around you. Um, which is, you know, really interesting to sit and look and think about, or, uh, also just to play on if that's more your speed. Um, we saw someone trail running. They seem to be having a good time. Um, there is in warmer weather, um, there are boat docks and there's a beach behind us mm -hmm. so you can go swimming, um, or boating really beautiful place though. We got lucky. The sun came out, uh, it's blue skies now. Um, you know, we have a great yeah. afternoon. We had a blast. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and you, uh, subscribe to our channel for more epic adventures. We hope that you take a chance to get outside and go on your own adventure. Um, but if you can't do that, stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.